Hey guys, today I'm joined by my friend Kane who's going to measure his VO2 max and try out a 2K rowing challenge. The best VO2 max tests are done in a lab with a mask, but you can get a good approximation with something called the Queen's College step test. You need a step that's 16 and a quarter inches high, conveniently that's two steps in my house, as well as a metronome and a stopwatch. If you Google metronome then one should pop up, and for men you're setting it to 96 beats a minute, and for women 88. For three minutes you're going to follow an up, up, down, down rhythm onto that second step. Uh, as soon as three minutes are up, you locate your pulse and you count your heartbeats for 15 seconds. Uh, when you have a number... How many? 38. 38. Uh, you go to brianmack.co.uk forward slash queens and that's going to spit out a number which is your estimated VO2 max. For Kane, that number is 47.49, which if you look at normative data, puts him at uh, above average to good. Next, we're going to work backwards from another VO2 max calculator that uses your 2000 meter indoor rowing time. Uh, Kane needs to weigh himself and put that number in, and then for now, we're just going to guess a 2000 meter time. So eight minutes comes out a bit low, but 755 looks very close to the score he got from his step test. Uh, the tests can differ slightly, so we're going to go two to three faster, uh, just to give a bit of a range. Uh, the display on the Concept 2 is going to tell you a pace per 500 meters. So we need to divide these numbers by four. That gives us between 156 and 159 per 500 meters. And that's the rough pace that uh, Kane should be able to row. Uh, we warmed up with some partial strokes, around 20 strokes with just your arms, and then the same with arms and hips, and then a few minutes of full body rowing. The damper was set between 5 and 6, that's a drag factor of 130. Most of the 2k rows are done with a drag between 130 and 140. Workout. A new workout. Single distance. Hey, it's already set to 2000, you don't need to do anything. Just the bottom one there, it won't start until you do your first stroke, so you can just press it, and that one. Yep, yeah. cool. The only guidelines were to think of it as four lots of 500 meters, aiming for 26 to 30 strokes a minute, and not rushing into the start of the next stroke, and trying to up the intensity in the final 300 meters, if he can. So in the end, he held a pace of 156 and had enough to sprint the final 300, ending up with a time of 739.6. If we put that back into the same calculator, that gives him a VO2 max of 50.6. In terms of strategy, he said 155 was a good pace. We probably could have upped the speed with more than 300 meters to go, which would have shaved maybe a second or two off his time. Feel free to try this out yourself to see where you stack up. I've put links to the step test calculator and the rowing calculator in the description. Uh, I'll just leave you with the normative data so you can see what the average VO2 max should be based on your age and sex. Thanks to Kane for a solid effort on the rower and thanks to you guys for watching the whole video. Cheers.